Okay, so I saw this story pop up on my feed the other day. Uh, it's almost too easy to install Ubuntu on a Raspberry Pi. Um, and uh, it's basically talking about the Raspberry Pi imager. And I've done a previous video about that. And when I did that video, Ubuntu wasn't on there. So I thought I'd try again and uh, try it with Ubuntu. So you can click on Ubuntu. You can see here, uh, not much else has changed apart from Ubuntu being added. Uh, and all the versions seem to be on here, which is really cool. So it tells you which version. Uh, so Ubuntu 18.04.4, 32-bit, 64-bit. So the one I want to install is Ubuntu 19.10.1 for the Pi 4. Um, so let's click on that. Choose my SD card. This is a new SD card. And hit right. Okay, so that took a lot longer than expected. Um, it turns out there was a problem with the Raspberry Pi imager. I looked through the, uh, the blog and a few people had said to re-download the program. So it looks like a newer version got added. Maybe around about the 9th of March was the first comment that suggested to download the new version. I tried all different types of Ubuntu and none of them worked, but it works now. So if you're getting a problem, uh, basically delete the program and re-download the program again. And uh, for me, it's worked fine this time. Okay, so this is the first boot. I've put the SD card into my Pi and switched on. Okay, so after a while you get Ubuntu login. So your login is Ubuntu and your password is Ubuntu. And then you've got to change your password. So current password, new password, Just stay on this screen for quite a long time, don't panic, just wait until it finishes everything. So now you need to install a desktop environment. Now I've done a video on uh, Lubuntu before and um, a, a few people recently have said that it's not working so I thought I'd try installing the Lubuntu uh, desktop. So sudo apt install Lubuntu desktop. Looks like it's working. Okay, so last time I did this, I just picked the standard option. Okay, so after a while, you'll get this screen. Just type in reboot. And hopefully, we'll reboot with a Lubuntu desktop. Okay, so we click on Ubuntu. Click on the cog. And you can see we've got a few options here. Uh, so I'm going to click on Lubuntu and put in my password that I created earlier on. And hit sign in. And there you go, Lubuntu desktop. So uh, I don't know what the problem, um, what was causing the problem that other people were having, but it seems to have worked all right for me. Uh, I can only, I mean, one of the things is maybe there's a lot of waiting around and a lot of the time it looks like it's finished, but it hasn't. So maybe just uh, try it again if you've had trouble getting the Lubuntu to work. Uh, nobody seems to have said anything about getting Ubuntu to work. Uh, but Lubuntu, uh, I've had a few people saying they're getting the same error. Uh, but this is working all right for me. Uh, and it is, I think it's a really nice looking operating system. Uh, it's nice and snappy, uh, works very well. I see there's um, DVD burning in there, CD burning in there. So I might, I'm going to do another video about connecting a DVD drive. Uh, and the previous one I did with Raspbian, I might do that with Lubuntu. Uh, I'll see if that works and it's recognized and everything. Um, but that bit, that could be something worth trying. Uh, if you want to install the Ubuntu desktop, instead of when I typed in sudo apt install lubuntu dash desktop, just leave off the L. So sudo apt install ubuntu dash desktop uh, and it'll install and Ubuntu works really well. So I can't think, you know, going back to the title on the story, it's almost too easy to install uh, Ubuntu on a Raspberry Pi. It's funny how there's a few extra steps that you need and why they don't just release, and they may do this and I've just not come across it, but why there isn't just a desktop environment Ubuntu, because it would be a lot more user friendly for new users, uh, because obviously when you have to start using terminal and logging in and changing passwords and things like that, 
You install Raspbian, it just comes up straight away and you're logged in and you're in a, a, a familiar sort of desktop environment. And I'm surprised just the standard Ubuntu, why they don't make that, that it boots straight into that. As I say, they may do it and I've just not come across it. Uh, if you know about a way of doing this, please let me know, I'd be interested. Um, but uh, but it, it was, there were certainly less steps because uh, the Raspberry Pi imager allowed it to install very quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Hope this helps. Please like and subscribe.